If you're up to date on Home and Away you know those naughty river boys have been up to no good again. And this time they look like they're about to take down Molly Hudson with them and fans aren't too happy about it. The long story short is that a mangrove river cop was murdered, the river boys are involved, Molly had a previous interaction with Du Bois when they helped him out of a spot of bother, and now he's had to repay the favor but wound up with a bag that has the murder weapon, a bloody shirt, and the ID of the slain police officer. Molly ended up back in the river boys' lair to dump the bag back with them, but unfortunately for him, that's right when the cops showed up so he looks like he's been caught red-handed with a notorious gang. Although he was absolutely caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, why was he silly enough to literally touch every single thing in that murder bag? Why did Molly touch the things in the bag, his fingerprints on all over the things? One person questioned. Ah Molly you shouldn't have gotten involved, another sad fan said. Molly walking into the lion's den, he shouldn't have opened the bag, big mistake, another commented. Others were shocked Molly didn't try to protest his innocence after the police stormed through. Molly needs to be more honest about how he came to be involved instead of being misguidedly loyal and secretive, one fan said. He's like two different people. I agree. He doesn't even declare his innocence. Just stands there glaring like the rest of them, looking guilty AF, another person agreed. Few other fans pointed out some logistical plot holes in the storyline. How did Molly know where to go to drop the bag off? Not like they are mates, one person queried. Correct me wrong but doesn't this get handed to homicide now as they have a strong suspect? Another asked. Of course not, no logic in Summer Bay, a person joked in response. 